Okay, we moved over, as you can see, we're right here by the water meter. Again, we have a floor drain here. Uh, you can see we have a laundry that's tied in. Uh, we do have a three inch clean out here. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and televise uh, from here. And this will take us to the uh, main line. This is in the room by the uh, water meter. This is next to the weight room. As you can see, this is uh, cast iron here. This is four inch uh, cast iron. It's a three inch stack base. Uh, it does pick up a uh, bathroom group. We do have a floor drain in this room we are going to test out. Uh, we're also going to pour some water down the floor drains for the furnace. Uh, check and see uh, if those are tied into sanitary as well. As you can see this does have some minor scale build up to it. Uh, you can see here it looks like we're turning uh, and turning towards this is actually the main line here. You can see we do have uh, water flow. Uh, we are going to go ahead and leave the recording. Uh, we are going to get a bucket of water and pour it down the drains uh, for the furnaces. See if we can confirm uh, that they are tied into the sanitary. Okay, we're going to pour some water down. Uh, we did tint it a little bit green. Uh, we are going to pour it down the floor drains for the furnace. We will leave the recording run. Okay, we have poured about half the bucket down uh, one floor drain that's in front of the uh, tankless water heater. Uh, there's a second drain uh, with condensates in. Uh, we'll pour water down there in a couple of minutes. Uh, again, we did tint it somewhat green, but we're not sure if we're going to be able to pick it up or not. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pour the uh, second half of the bucket down the other uh, drain.
Okay, it was hard to see uh, if the water came through. Uh, we're pouring. Uh, we did leave the recording on uh, to see if uh, anything did come through on the recording. Uh, we also want to try and test. Uh, we have one floor drain that's right here uh, by uh, underneath the water meter. Uh, we want to test that floor drain as well uh, and see if that's tied into uh, this line. Uh, we will try and see if we can push, uh, we're going to go back in and see if we can try and push all the way to the septics. We were not able to from the smaller uh, clean out on the other side uh, due to the fittings where we were going through. Uh, this is quite a bit closer to where the liner would be. As you can see right here, this is actually our main clean out. As you can see here, uh, we are in the liner. Uh, we are going to attempt to televise uh, downstream. See if we can televise all the way out to the septic. Okay, we're going to try and flow some water through the laundry uh, to see if that will help us. As you see, we did have, uh, we have 245s before the main clean out and then we also have 245s uh, outside in the liner, uh, making it a little bit difficult uh, to push a camera through. Uh, but we are going to see if we can get some water uh, to flow here. You can see we have a slight flow and see if that will help us move uh, downstream to the septic tank. Okay, again, this is about as far as we can push from this location. Uh, we will go ahead and stop the water. We'll, we will record as we pull back.
Okay, we believe this might be the tie-in right here for the floor drain. We are going to try and see if we can put some water down uh, and actually show uh, flow from the floor drain. Okay, here you can see we have a better look. Uh, it appears that possibly the floor drain that's in this room would be tied to the storm. As you can see, this is a 45 uh, that would straighten the stack out and then head it down towards the weight room uh, where it ties into the main.